First, the top headlines. 17 hours general strike caused by rebel groups hits normal life in the state. Chief Minister N. Biren inaugurated Chibu Chandrakiti Memorial Park at Churachanpur. India reports 2,430 new coronavirus infections, 17 deaths in the last 24 hours. Active cases stands at 26,618. Twenty-five killed dozen trapped in a Turkey coal mine blast. And in FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup 2022, India knocked out of knockout race after three zero loss to Morocco. Hello and welcome to Lit TV's 3 p.m. English News. I'm your host, Dimita Hanjavam. Before giving you the news, we request you to follow the SOP given by the government. Wear face masks, run in public, wash hands regularly and maintain a minimum of 6 feet between one person and another. A Lit TV requests you to get vaccinated in time to protect ourselves from this virus and play your part in the fight against COVID-19. Now the news in detail. Normal life has been hit by the outlawed militant groups call for a general strike today in protest against the merger of Manipur to the union which came into effect on October 15, 1949. Among the militant groups which call a general strike is Korkum, which called for a 17-hour general strike from yesterday midnight till 5 p.m. today and observed the day as National Black Day. The Alliance for Socialist Unity, Kangli Park, the Front formed by KY Kill and KCP also call a 12-hour general strike from 6 a.m. today till 6 p.m. today. The United People's Revolutionary Front of Manipur called for an 18-hour total shutdown from the midnight of October 14 till 6 p.m. of October 15 and termed the day as Kangli Paki Amambandumit. Moreover, the Socialist Revolutionary Party has called a general strike in the entire state today. The proscribed group said the general strike was called in protest against the merger of Manipur, which was an independent kingdom and brought under the British imperialism for about 56 years. However, on the midnight of August 14, 1947, Manipur got independence, but India forcefully annexed Manipur through the merger act. Meanwhile, several areas in the state, including Imphal, were hit by the shutdown. All schools, colleges and educational institutes, Kwaramban Bajar, Pauna and Thangal Bajars were shut down. The numbers of commuters on the road was less, attendance in government offices are also thin and no passenger vehicles piled on the roads. The general strike called by the rebel groups also affected normal lives in Juribam. Chief Minister N. Biren Singh inaugurated the Chivu Chandrakiti Memorial Park, Tonjang Village, Rachanpur, and led Foundation Stone of Manipur Southern Cultural Center, Baihyang, Churachanpur District, yesterday at the functions organized by the Department of Art and Culture, Manipur, at the park. Speaking as a chief guest, the chief minister said that the government wants to develop Baihang as an international business hub like Mori Town and bring development there. There are various developmental plans for the area, he continued, stating that the Manipur Southern Cultural Centre will be constructed at a project cost rupees 6 crore. He also highlighted several other development works taken up in the Singhat. He also added that there are plans to expand the centre and develop it further. There should be equal development, the Chief Minister said, adding that there are no small or big communities, we all human beings and should live together. He said the government is taking forward a new Manipur. Unfortunately, it was affected for around two years for the COVID, but the state government have been working harder for the past six or so months to make up for the delay. 
highlighting that he appreciates the maintenance of forest cover in the area. He said he is against mass deforestation for poppy cultivations and not against small clearance for the food cultivation process. The chief minister also announced rewards for 13 villages of the area for properly maintaining the forest cover and for declaring that there is no poppy cultivations in the area. The Chief Minister also announced projects under horticulture for each of the villages. Chief Minister N. Burain Singh also assured inclusion for a high school living certificate examination centre in the area. He said that the new medical college at Churachanpur was set up in a district because the people deserved it. Let us settle differences, problems, grievances through the process of talks, discussions and a meeting instead of restoring the violent disturbances like burn, blockhead and adding to forget and forgive our past mistakes. The Chief Minister appealed to the people observing that no society can move forward if we continue to remember past mistakes. <laughs> Behangs who against why I am working so hardly, why I declare war on drugs. You see in Sosanpur, Sosanpur Bazar, Kanagi control Impalgi bio si the yengo, ukrul the yengo, tangkul miyo ilising lak ani makai ohum kar lai bato dosi miyo ilising ni pan hena drug edi goye. Akoi sorsan puda or fan kai amle noi kang bra. Drug na si kira mama malai kira mama palai kira ba kaya lai. Si maya msi bula hingum si abinai na abidi. Biren ginate it is not for me. Aduna. I know as I help the Lakokanda. I could give Behangi ideas, a pump song sang it. Machet, a hang on Machet Kuru, a hang on Machet Kara, either low Ubogi in Kolubo. Yes, okay, I do talk Tabani. Zoom cultivation, Kuru, the Quito, what happened in San and Nabuki Kariki. But I know the Maso in a forest destroyed the Woodway Yard, but you are never. Rajya Sabha MP titular King of Manipur, Laisen Basana Jao expressed his happiness to the people of the area for preserving and protecting the artifacts which are erected in a park for such a long time. In his brief speech, Singhat MLA Chin Lung Thang acknowledged before the Chief Minister that there is no poppy cultivations in the area. Tipai Muk MLA Ngur Sanglur Sanate elaborated on the need for everyone in the state to learn Manipuri and said if we want to bring unity in the state, we have to learn Manipuri. He encouraged the people, especially the people of the hills, to learn the language. Gairao MLA El Rameshwar Maite observed it is evident that the chief minister has concern for the people of the hills from the development work taken up in the hill areas. The indescribed stone at Chibu was erected during the reign of Maharaja Chandrakiti 1950-1980. 86 CE in the year 1872 CE to commemorate the Lungsai expeditions. A large stone slab in a pair of engraved footprints of Maharaj Chandrakiti and General Nathan is lying in front of the inscribed stone. A stone symbolizing Lord Thangjing and his consort is also located within this complex. The total protection area is 607.50 square meter. The program was also attended by Minister T.N. Hills and Horticulture led by Haukip, Mao MLA Losi Dingho, Saikot MLA Paulin Nan Haukip, Hengleb MLA Ladzamang Haukip, D.C. Chura Chanpur Dr. Sharad Chandra Aruju, District Administration officials among others. Leaders of CSOs, tribe, village chiefs and the general public of the area accorded a warm welcome to the Chief Minister and his team on their arrival at the venue. The Chief Minister also inspected the complex of the park. The State Social Welfare Department Director Ngangom Mutam yesterday ruined that a sections of a media carried news reports targeting the departments and to put it in a bad light. Speaking to reporters at his office, Utam said there was no wrongdoings in the tenders floated and the processes done by the departments. He said tenders were floated for the transport of rice and pulses from the FCI Godown for distribution to Anganwadi centers set off under the department's ICDS. 
A total of 16 firms responded to the tender, out of which seven were shortlisted after thoroughly checking their documents and the rest nine were rejected. The director further said a proper scrutiny of the documents submitted by the seven shortlisted firm will be conducted and if any of them were found with fake documents, they will, also, they will also be rejected. He also said some of those rejected firms conspired to blame the department and spread fake news to a section of the media. Stating that the public seeing such news is unfortunate, Uttam said there was no wrongdoing on the department on the part of the department departments and no efforts were made to give advantage of a new firms. He added that the false allegations unsettled the working of the department, which is putting in a serious effort for the welfare of the people. Uh, Nasagi, a quiz maitona, high quarter, a pillamachasi, a pillamachalaga, known a tender to Zagi, a heavy ayava, a low sien. Hosiki, I nasi putorizika, you know, that covers the eva matamda. Nasagi, particular meetings in a hapalaga, yelapamatamda, department a tender toning the win eva. Department a tender to Zagi, and a high quarter, moiki court say, court case a vecato, we row on Hirakanda, high quarter, court massi vecato, to be a kanda, quida. Tender si tau ro na yaab pi rakpani. Lai vak thi badi 2019 ki loi rakpada ayaab se pi raga jo akhi na matam chana tender to bungamgi de tender ki document samit tau ba khopa tau ba kanda si tender si loi dri loi grakanda adu mai na ngasai ki fake document da base tau ba miya mada akhi na work award tau re hairabama adu akhi ki Langang na zoo to my own action local local of Bolere, Dugum Boler Gadi, Aigi Takta, Aquigi, Administrative Secretary Lady, Mantri Lady, Aduna Langak Sina Zoo, Aquina Department, Tauzida Kagumba, Swivel Eremoga, did the action local local of Bodum Lazare. A national seminar on multidisciplinary advanced research in northeastern India was held yesterday at Waikomani Girls College, Tobal. Participating in the seminar, Union Minister of State for Education, Dr. R. K. Ranjan said, since ancient days, India is considered as best place for learning philosophy, astronomy, mathematics, and other fields of knowledge. With an aim to reverberate the rich legacy of ancient knowledge and wisdom, the new education policy 2020 was introduced by the government. The policy envisions an education system rooted in Indian ethos that contributes directly to transforming India into equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing high-quality education to all and thereby making India a global knowledge superpower. The vision of the policy is to instill among the learners a deep-rooted pride in being Indian not only in thought but also in spirit, intellectual as well as to develop knowledge, skills, value and dispositions that support responsible commitment to human rights. He said the new policy consists of four pillars of which quality is the most important one. Accountability, affordability and accessibility are the other important pillars. He further said a new education policy is flexible and multidisciplinary and it will help in imparting new ideas. Coordination of the various subjects is necessary for building a developed nation. Professor N. Raj Mohan Singh, Vice Chancellor DM University, Professor H. Manuranjan Sarma, Principal Waikomani Girls College, Professor Arun Kumar, Convener Indian Science Congress, Manipur Chatter and Dr. S. Sham Kiran, Vice Principal Waikomani Girls College were the other dais members. Academicians, teachers and students of the college also participated in the seminar. Maitai Chanu participants selections will be held on 6 November, said 5 organizing committee of Maitai Chanu convener Waikom Anand Maitai. Anand made the statement during a press meet held at Manipur Press Club Major called yesterday. He further said that 25 participants will be selected at the auditions. Among them, three participants will be reserved for the contest. The grand final will be held on 10 October at board after the auditions and other round held. Anand said the contest will be held in an aim to keep protect the static cultural value of the state in the world changing moral habits and added that the contest will also be held with different events like symposium, chain khaiba, nachom semba and food cooking etc. <laughs> Karamba Yanko, Legate, Legate, Haina Kangba, 
misi masing nomo nomo yang hantarak pak. Madu ke belu sing tu, ikhwan na muta nat leh rakan na ikhwan ki kunaya sigi magi nat ena kalsel si. Madu mak pasal na hingi hai na ikhwan na lawjar raga. Madu bu muta na bagi kuna pada ikhwan ki asyik umur kante sesina. Asyik umur teng pangani hai na khala kanda asyik umur teng cianu si sinja bani. Ikhwan umur teng cianu si sin pada kahan pada nape mbagi tang teruk tagi ikhwan audition hau jaga ni. Lambai konang hong dalai baca koi marupi auditorium dah. Nombor asih dah, ikhwan na contestan kun gani thoi ikhwan selection tau jaga ni. Pun na contestan kun menga oi kita bani ahum mama na ma pan mani pun dalai riba Burma bu airo, Bangladesh bu airo, Assam bu airo masih dekik lai riba contestan jeng duki na ikhwan kun menga ki manung dah ahum mama rezab tham jaga ni. In a successful operations against war on drugs, Mijoram police seized 500 shop cases of heroin weighing 6.836 kgs were around Rs. 34.18 crore in international market. Acting on a specific input, Mijoram police intercepted a vehicle taxi driven by Lalampuya, 45 years, from Champai district. A total, of, a total number of 500 shop cases of heroin has been recovered. The biggest catch of heroin in the history of the state Mijoram. The vehicle's driver has been arrested and also a case has been registered in Champai police stations. Further investigation is going on. Police sources added. And now let's take a short break. Stay tuned for more updates. Lamdam Masida Ahan Bo Oina Lamdam Masidi Ningol Singi Dabapta Sintra Riba Kolo Bela Laak Liba Hiyang Gai Gini Nipan Ba Ningol Chako Boga Mari Lai Nana Lai Tieng Da Lamdam Masidi Ningol Singi Dabapta Ahong Pa Mamal Da Maghal Makha Gaya Ki Kolo Na Sawa Gold Plate Da Taura Ba Lai Tieng Ki Polap Sing Ahong Pa Mamal Da Fangan Jara Gani Nela Asi Laak Liba Oktober Ki Tarik Tara Tarup Da Ki Kun Fau Ba Ayub Ki Pung Tara Da Ki Numidang Wai Lam Pung Manga Fau Ba Pang Tuk Jara Gani Mafam Na Hotel Baigo Kaisampan Thokjong Laikai Ngoyin na Mela Simab Oktober Gitang Punitoy Thang Janumita Thaubal Mela Ground Ta Pang Thokjara Gani Masida Damdam Masigi Amadi Maikaya Donggi Ijejal Ima Ibal Kwaipom Na Magna Lingbi Raktu Na Pijar Ipa Kudong Chaba Si Lobi Hau Ngoyin na Kudong Chaba Simab Online Ki Kudhang Ta Pung Bi Gani Aku Pamarol Gidamag Makha Da Pijar Ipa Contact Number Si Da Pau Fau Bi Raktu Ba Ning Sing Jari Nine three double six three seven six two one zero. Natraga nine three six six eight seven zero five nine eight. American Oncology Institute AOI Amadi Babina Specialty Hospital Ani Gimakada Comprehensive Cancer Care Kaluina na Multi Specialty Service Singi Kudong Sabah Singh Pijari Kudong Sabah Singh Adudi Neurology Urology Internet Medicine General Surgery Critical Care ICU Amadi Palliative Medicine ni Finest school in Northeast India, Unaco School, Excellence in Education. Hey, Wang Lin! Nung na, matanda po kung bi jamo, nung sa san pumun pumo. Masida gidi, masida gida isa sa pudre chakra na bni. Hello, Mr. Carlo. I am back. Mahuksa, lighting bi.
Welcome back again. You're watching LTV's 3 p.m. English News. One day short term training program was held at Tampajau Bhavan, Thobal Ketrilekai, which was organized by the Topen Thingadi National Board for Worker Education and Development, IMFAL, supported by Council for Advancement of Rural Development, CART, and Somoranjan Singh, Director, the Topen Thingadi National Board for Worker Education and Development, IMFAL, CH Basanta Singh, District Program Manager, District Health Society, Thobal, is Yaima Singh, Branch Manager, Ketrilekai Branch, Boss Office, Thobal, W. Rakesh Singh Secretary Card were attended the training program. Altogether, 70 male and women attended the program. Topic like program and schemes of post office, youth and drugs, health and nutrition were the main topic of the program. Indian Space Research Organizations will launch 36 satellites of UK's Global Communications Network OneWeb on 23rd of this month. The launch of satellites is scheduled for 12.07 a.m. on October 23. The commercial launch on board the GSLV MK3, India's heavier satellite, is being facilitated by Space PSU New Space India Limited. NSIL has signed two launch service contracts with OneWeb for launching the firm's LEO Low Earth Orbit broadband communication satellites on board the GSLV MK3. The Space PSU has at least six commercial missions planned in the next few months. India saw a slight drop in COVID cases with 2,430 infections reported in the last 24 hours, according to the Union Health Ministry data updated today. With 2,430 new COVID cases, the cumulative daily has gone up to 4 crore, 46,26,427, the ministry said. The country's active case load currently stands at 26,618, which constitutes 0.06% of the country's total positive cases. An increase of 35 cases have been recorded in the active COVID-19 case load in a span of 24 hours. The death toll due to disease has climbed to 5,28,874 with 17 fatalities, which includes 9 deaths reconciled by Kerala. The data updated soon. The daily positivity rate was recorded at 1.01%. The weekly positivity rate was recorded at 1.07%, according to the Health Ministry. The number of people who have recuperated from disease surged to 4 crore 40 lakhs 70,935, while the case fatality rate was recorded at 1.19%. According to the ministry, 219.27 crore doses of COVID vaccines have been administered in the country so far under a nationwide COVID-19 vaccination drive. An explosion in a coal mine in Turkey's northern Bartin province killed 25 people in a dozen remain trip, the BBC reported. The explosions occurred on Friday at the facility in Amastra on the Black Sea coast. Faridin Koka, health minister, said 11 people have been rescued and were undergoing treatment. At the time of the blast, around 110 people were working in the mine, almost half of them 300 meters deep. And now the sports news. Oriental Club registered win over Jiri FA by 72 goal at 17 and Harichandra Memorial Sub Junior Boys under 15 football tournament 2022. The tournament was participated by seven teams organized by Old Jiribam Sport Associations held at Jiribam Higher Secondary School ground yesterday. The next match will be played between UPC and PYC on 17 October. It may be mentioned that a tournament was donated by N. Prem Shankar in the name of his lad father. Three second half goals from Morocco condemn India to their second defeat of the tournament. They will face Brazil in the final group stage game on Monday. The Indian women's football team went down 3 0 to Morocco in its second group A match of the FIFA Under 17 Women's World Cup 2022 at Kalinga Stadium in Bhuvaneshwar on Friday. It was India's second loss after the 8 0 defeat to the USA and keeps them bottom of the group with no points. The result also means that India cannot make it past the group stages at their home tournament as the only the top 
two form each group advanced to the quarter finals second half groups from doha el mandani yasmi johir and the jeneha cherif condemn india to its second loss of the fifa under 17 women's world cup 2022 true india have do india have been eliminated home fans will be able to witness them in action one last time against brazil in their third group stage in the fifa under 17 women game on monday For the TV News Channel, contact the email address info at ltv dot in or nine four zero two eight nine zero nine eight two and subscribe to ltv YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter for more information about the channel. And now let's take a look at the headlines once again. Seventeen-hour general strike caused by rebel groups hit normal life in the state. Chief Minister and Birain inaugurated Shibu Chandrakiti Memorial Park at Churachandpur. <music> India reports 2,430 new coronavirus infections, 17 days in last 24 hours. Active cases stands at 26,618. Twenty-five killed, dozens stray in a Turkey coal mine blast. And in FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup 2022, India out of knockout streets after three-zero loss to Morocco. And that's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Little Bit English News. Thank you and have a great day.